Hi, I'm Chris Downs, a writer for Microsoft Access. In this video, I'll show you how you can upload an image to the image gallery of an Access database, and then easily reuse that image on other forms and reports. For example, I want to add a company logo to the contact details form in the contacts web database template. I'll start by opening the form in layout view. I'll click on an empty cell of the layout, and then on the Design tab in the Controls group, I click Insert Image. The Contacts database already has a few images in the gallery, so if I wanted to use one of these, all I'd have to do is click it. But I have another image that I want to use, so I'll click Browse. I select the image I want to add, and then click OK. Now when I move the pointer over the form, an insertion bar appears to show me where the image will be placed when I click. I'll click here and Access adds the image to the form. In this case, Access created a very small cell in the layout for the image. I'll hold down the Shift key and select the empty cell below it, and then on the Arrange tab I'll click Merge, and now you can at least see the logo. I'll select a few more cells and do the same thing. And I'll resize the cell a bit. I'll have some more adjusting to do, but this is good enough for now. Now that I've added the image to a form, it's available in the image gallery. I don't have to go search for it on my computer next time I want to use it. For example, now I'll add the logo to the contact address book report. First I'll open it in layout view. I'll click insert image, select it from the gallery, and then click on the form or report where I want to add it. So that's pretty easy, but what if now my company gets a new logo? Suddenly you need to update the logo everywhere it appears in the database. With the image gallery, all I have to do is update the logo in the gallery, and it changes the image on any forms or reports on which it has been used. I'll open the gallery, right-click the logo image, and then click Update. I browse to the new logo and then click Open. Now when I open the image gallery, the new logo is displayed. Better yet, Access has automatically updated it on my form. And also on my report. You might be wondering about the logo command here on the design ribbon. This command lets you select an image and quickly add it to the upper left corner of a form or report. In a web database, this command adds the image to the image gallery, so you can get the same benefits of easy reuse and updatability. On a client form or report, however, the logo command does not add the image to the gallery. It creates a traditional embedded image control instead. You can also use the image gallery to add a background image to a form or report. However, this only works for client forms, so I'll create a new one here. With the client form open in layout view, I click the format tab, and then in the background group, I click background image. I select the image I want, and then Access puts it on the form behind the controls. I can make this image stretch to fit the entire form by opening the property sheet, and then selecting the form properties from the drop-down list. On the Format tab of the property sheet, the background image is specified in the Picture property. You can use the Picture Tiling, Alignment, and Size Mode properties to change how the picture is displayed. For example, turning on the Picture Tiling property fills the background with multiple tiles of the image. That's a little busy, so I'll set that back to No. I think it would be better if the image expanded to fit the entire form. If I set the Picture Size Mode property to Stretch, the image stretches out to the edges of the form. However, as the name implies, the image might get stretched horizontally or vertically, resulting in a distorted image. If I set the Image Size Mode property to Zoom, the image gets as large as it can without distorting. In other words, the aspect ratio is preserved. However, the picture might not expand all the way to the edges of the form. So that's how you use the image gallery in Access 2010. 
Thanks for watching and check out our other articles and videos on office.com.